This is a selfie phone video. I know these things never work out really all that well, but there's nobody out here uh, but uh, Charlie and me. Charlie's my dog, and uh, we're hiking around out in the boonies. Uh, if you ever decide to do this, hike out in the boonies a little bit, it's important that you, if you want to take a, a rifle with you, that you check with the local fish and game first and uh, whoever's in charge of that particular land. In my case, uh, I have a concealed carry permit in the state of California, uh, so I was able to bring that with me. Uh, it wasn't a problem. Um, I'm part owner in a security firm that provides canine uh, work for explosives and narcotics detection, so taking one of the dogs out, like Charlie, and uh, giving him some off-leash time is a business purpose, and so I was able to bring my handgun with me. But as you can see, if you look behind me here, uh, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and there are, uh, you know, always there's uh, the issue of running into some uh, unsavory characters in a place like this. It could be smugglers, could be whatever. Depends on where you are, and the closer you are to the California-Mexican border, uh, the more likely that could be. So uh, in this case, I brought, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I brought my, uh, my Sega rifle with me uh, just because I thought, well, you know, it's completely California legal. Oh, sorry, I moved the camera on you there. It's completely California legal. I've got a 10-round magazine in it and, a, you know, extra mag or two with me. And uh, if you have a hunting license, you can also do that. Just make sure you've got hunting ammunition in the gun, and it's a gun that's legal to hunt, and it's an area where it's legal for you to hunt. And you'll be able to do those kinds of things, and that makes it uh, a little bit safer for you. Uh, why a rifle instead of a handgun? Well, you know, there's a lot of open space here. If I were to uh, run into some unsavory characters who wanted to hurt me or hurt Charlie or, you know, or do us in or something, uh, chances are the distances are going to be significant. And I'm not going to be able to address uh, my own defense at, uh, at handgun ranges, probably going to be rifle ranges. Uh, the other issue is if I'm walking around with a rifle, particularly a rifle that looks like it's designed to fight with, um, then that's a little bit of a deterrent. Uh, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, and the only people I'm going to run into out here are probably going to be people who aren't very nice people who are hiding from law enforcement. So it's a good idea for me to have a rifle with me so that that's a deterrent. If they see me walking with my dog, and I've got this Sega rifle or something like a Mini-14 or something along those lines. Um, you know, you want to make sure it's completely California legal, but if I've got something along those lines, they're less likely, I think, to approach me and more likely to avoid me because they're not out here to get in a firefight. They're out here to get their business taken care of and not to be bothered uh, with some guy who's walking his dog. So that's the reason behind that. Um, I thought I would make this little short video for you. I don't know if it'll come out or not. If it does, obviously we'll post it. Um, because I think it's important for you to know that there are ways for you to carry a gun while hiking, even in the state of California. Now, if you don't have a concealed weapons permit, then one way to do it is make sure you've got a valid hunting license, that you're going to an area to go hiking, and you're going to an area that is only uh, areas where you can actually legally hunt. And then check with Fish and Game or with BLM or whoever is in charge of that land ahead of time and make sure that what you're doing is 100% legal. The other nice part about that is I write down the officer I spoke to, the badge number. I spoke to a guy this morning. I wrote down his badge number, his name. wrote down exactly what he told me and what time I talked to him. So if I am approached by wardens today, I'll explain to them who I am. I'll hand them all my licensing. And I'll explain to them that I did talk to the officer this morning. And he told me that, uh, that I should mention his name and his badge number if it became an issue because he said he knows all the wardens out here. And what I'm doing is perfect perfectly legal. So there you go, a little help from the gun guy. Uh, if you want to carry a gun while hiking, this is a way for you to do it. Uh, just make sure that you do all of your homework first so you don't find yourself in a lot of trouble. So we're back in the truck having uh, hiked the trail all the way back. I know it's four or five miles. And uh, what's interesting to close out this video is here I'm talking about the possibility of bumping into some oddballs, <laughs> you know, or unscrupulous characters or what have you. And as we're driving away from where we were, maybe three quarters of a mile from where we were hiking, we saw several guys uh, hanging out in an area that obviously they shouldn't have been, that uh, looked like a, a bunch of illegals uh, getting their way into the country. And sure enough, there were a couple guys leading them. Now, I didn't see any weapons among them, but nevertheless, this is the danger that you face when you live, particularly in Southern California, uh, or in a southern state when you're close to the border there. But in other places too, you've got uh, you know drug smugglers, but even if they're not smugglers, you've got people with meth labs out in the middle of the hills or out in the middle of nowhere, or they're growing pot or whatever they're doing. And uh, you know, you're walking your dog and you stumble on it. 
Well, if you can, and you can do it legally, now that's the key, uh, you might want to have a firearm of some sort with you. Uh, what I did today uh, was legal because of hunting. Like I said, you got a hunting license, I have a concealed weapons permit, and again, uh, you know, I could, uh, many, many reasons for me to be out there with a gun today, scouting for the hunting season which is coming up uh, because I'm a licensed hunter. Uh, the fact that, again, I have one of the dogs with us from work and, uh, and you know, dogs need uh, recreation too. And they also, we did some training while we were out there. So it's certainly business related if I wanted to just carry a handgun for, on my concealed weapons permit. But uh, the rifle is more of a hunting issue. And so you want to find a legal way to do it. Um, I would say please don't take this video as legal advice, obviously. I'm not an attorney. I'm a security contractor and an NRA law enforcement instructor, but I'm by no means an attorney by any stretch of the imagination. So you, you want to check with an attorney. Uh, we, I checked with our company attorney before I did this to make sure it was legal. And then I checked with, again, law enforcement that's in charge of these areas. So that's kind of what you're going to want to do. But uh, boy, uh, if you can do it legally, I, I would say if you're out here, particularly by yourself or just in small numbers, and you're out in an area where you're hiking and enjoying the beautiful outdoors, because it is beautiful, um, that having a way to protect yourself is equally as valid out here as it would be in the city, and possibly more so because help is farther away. It's going to be harder for them to find you. You may not have cell coverage or anything else. I brought my little uh, handheld ham radio with me today. Uh, for the same reason, in case I lost cell coverage and I twisted my ankle or hurt myself or whatever, I knew I could bounce something off the repeater off the mountain. And uh, if I could hit the repeater off the mountain, I could get somebody to come help me. So it's important to think about those kind of things. How are you going to get out? How are you going to get help for yourself? If the dog got bit by a rattlesnake or something, how am I going to deal with that? Uh, but also, if I'm out here and I happen to you know, accidentally stumble upon somebody who wants to do me harm, how am I going to protect myself? Because you're, you're pretty much on your own. Anyway, that's about it from out here in the middle of no place. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, please uh, share us on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. We're going to have some real fun videos from the range, but we'll have some of this kind of out and, out and about stuff too that's more practical for you here on Gun Guy TV.